Hi, this is Anil from Pristine. In this session, we'll talk about financial reporting and analysis topic, which carries around 20% weight of the CFA curriculum. So this high weightage makes it the most important topic from the examination point of view. So keeping that in mind, I've chosen a topic that is sure shot to come in the exam. So that topic is basically the treasury stock method okay and to explain this treasury stock method i have built a context using the earning per share concept so there are two types of earning per shares or eps so the first one being the basic eps which is most commonly heard of and most commonly used in the profitability performance measures right so whenever you talk about the profitability of the company eps is the first measure which is used right so basic EPS is the earning per share to the common stockholders. So the common equity holders or common stockholders, we have this basic EPS. So basic EPS is the net income minus the preferred dividends upon the total number of shares outstanding or we call this as weighted average shares outstanding vaso okay so this is the weighted average shares outstanding and the numerator is the net income minus the preferred dividends so this ratio becomes the basic eps now what is the diluted eps diluted eps is the ratio of net income minus preferred dividends plus the convertible preferred div dividends and plus the convertible debt interest upon the total weighted average stocks outstanding so here while calculating this we assume that all the securities that can be converted into equities or the common stock is converted okay so the denominator is all the possible securities are converted into stocks or common equity so we have the ratios associated or the factors associated with each convertible securities right so suppose one convertible prefer prefer stock can be equivalent to 100 common equities right so using those relationship we can find what are the number of shares in the conversion right similarly in the case of debt but in the case of shares that are issued from the stock options the the procedure is slightly different and the method which gives us the final number that would be used as a denominator in the diluted eps that method is called as tsm or treasury stock method so all these numbers would be given to you in the exam the only thing that you need to derive is the is the number of stocks that would be issued from the stock options okay so now uh, from now onwards my focus would be to explain this treasury stock method so what's the treasury stock method so suppose we have a company so a company okay and suppose it has one stock options one stock option okay and one stock option when exercised will give one equity okay one equity share fine so whenever the option is exercised the shares are created the share will get created once this share is created and it is issued to the stock holder stock option holder the company will receive some amount and that amount would be the strike price denoted by x we call this as strike price 
of the option so company will receive the strike price of the option and it will issue one equity share or one equity share to the holder now this x which is the fund received this is not kept in the treasury of the company but this is used to buy the shares of the same company from the market at the average price okay so this x amount with this x amount the company will try to buy back its shares at average market price so suppose the average market price is avg okay m so number of shares that would be bought back would be given by x upon market price so i can write it as mp so these are the shares that would be bought back so this in this whole procedure we have noticed that one equity shareholder went into the outstanding part and x upon market price came back to the company from the proceeds that it has received from the exercising of the option right so what is the total number of shares outstanding now from this exercising so from this exercise the total number of stocks outstanding would be 1 minus x upon the market price so this was issued one was issued and these number of stocks are bought back so these are bought back so total outstanding from this complete process would be 1 minus x upon mp right so this is the method called as treasury stock method so here the assumption is that the company does not keep the cash with itself but it goes into the market and buy back the the same shares from the market at the average market price in that period okay with this background in mind let us go to the questions part and let's see how to solve the related problems so here we have a question uh, to calculate the basic and diluted EPS so this is the information about the company okay and it says the net income is 120.5 million the VASO or weighted average shares outstanding is 85 millions number of preference share outstanding is 10,000 and the face value of preferred share is 1,000 each and the dividend paid on these preferred stocks is 8% of the face value also it mentions that there are 100,000 stock options outstanding in the end of the year and which are convertible into 100 normal equity shareholders per option at the strike price of 25 so every option is having a strike price of 25 dollars and if the average market price is 50 dollars we need to find the basic and diluted eps so with respect to basic so basic would be net income which is 120.5 million minus uh, what is the preferred dividends the preferred dividends is 8 percent of the 1000 so 8 percent so this is in million so 8 percent into 1000 into 10,000 upon 10 days to power 6 because this number is in millions so this upon VASO which is 85 million so this was down to 120.5 minus uh, 0 0.8 because 8% 8 is 8 upon 100 so it becomes 10 raised to power 8 and on the numerator we have 10 raised to power 7 so it becomes 0 0.8 million upon 85 million so 
this gives us a number close to 1.4 right so we have a we have c as the probable answers now the next step is to find the diluted eps for diluted eps we will go to the next sheet so the first step is how many shares are created when the options are exercised so there were 100,000 100, options right and each option was convertible into 100 stocks so there are how many stocks now there are 10 million stocks outstanding from the options now the strike price of each option was $25 so the funds received by the company is $25 into 10 million right so funds received is $25 and so here the the strike price assumes that this strike price is per share and not per option all right so if we if we go to our original question so it should be strike price of $25 so this means $25 per share all right so let's see this question now so there are total of 10 million shares so 10 million shares and $25 from each share is received so total of 250 million dollars is received from the complete exercise now this 25 million goes to the company so company does not keep this to 20 250 million uh, as a cash but it will go into the market and spend this 250 million to repurchase its own stock so the average share price is given as $50 right it is given as $50 so number of shares that can be purchased from this would be 250 million upon $50 so this is nothing but this is X upon the average price average market price right so it gives me a number equal to 5 million so initially 100 millions were issued all right and 5 millions are repurchased so the net effect of the complete exercise of the option is 10 minus 5 which is 5 so 5 million in effect are made outstanding so earlier the 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 vaso was 85 million the weighted average shares were 85 millions now through the exercise of the option 5 millions have been added into this now the total outstanding number of shares is 90 million so with this data point in mind we have net income minus preferred that we have already calculated upon 90 million so it becomes 1.33 dollar per share so diluted eps is 1.33 dollar per share and the basic eps is 1.41 so to to recap let's go to the original slide so first of all what we do is we exercise the options so suppose from the exercise you issue one stock so this one stock goes to the stock option holder and this goes to the stock option holder and you receive the strike price of the option so using this strike price you go into the market and you buy x upon mp that is the average market price so this number of shares okay so instead of keeping this x amount as cash into the treasury what we do we go into the market and buy x upon mp number of shares so now the total outstanding amount 
is not increased by one unit but it is increased by one minus x upon mp number of shares so with this that the net effect is that the total outstanding number of stocks are increased by one minus x upon mp number of stocks all right so this is the treasury stock method and you can definitely expect one question from this particular calculation only all right so i hope you have enjoyed the session i hope uh, you have understood the concept of treasury stock methods and how to calculate dilutive and diluted eps if you have any query regarding this you can write a mail to me at anil at eneve dot com all right so thanks guys thanks for listening and i hope to see you in the next class thank you